Hey there, today's video is going to be a quick review and comparison of three different trading or investing platforms here in Canada. Those platforms are going to be Wealth Simple Trade, Quest Trade, and TD Direct Invest. I know there's a lot of other trading platforms out there, but these are the three that I have an intimate knowledge of because I have used them at some point. Bottom line up front, out of these three options, I think that Wealth Simple Trade is the best if you're looking to invest in Canadian securities. That said, I think that Quest Trade is better currently for investing in US or other foreign markets. Without further ado though, let's get into it. First up is Wellsimple. Now this is the platform that I use for all of my investing in Canadian securities. It's really easy to sign up for and then it only takes a couple of days to fund your account and you can get going. And the best part about Wellsimple Trade is that it doesn't charge any commission fees for buying or selling as long as it's a Canadian stock or bond or ETF. If you take a look here, you can see that the platform has a really nice aesthetic and it's quite simple to use. There are two main downsides to Wealth Simple Trades investing platform though. And the first one is that there's little to no research or analytics available. Of course, you get what you pay for, and in this case, since you're paying zero dollar commission fees, you can't expect a whole lot in that regard. But that said, it is one of the more significant downfalls because with some other trading or investing platforms out there, they do offer some of those types of services, which can be very helpful if you're starting out and you have no idea what you want to invest in. The second major downfall of Wealth Simple Trade is that they charge pretty high foreign exchange fees. So if you want to invest in US stocks or bonds or in other foreign markets, you're going to pay 1.5% on buying and selling, which adds up quite a lot, and that's how the platform makes their money. Well, Simple has said, though, that they are planning on launching a US dollar account so that you can actually buy US dollars and then just trade for free with that currency and not get hit with exchange fees every time you make a transaction. So in the future, things might change. Also, I want to say just a quick word about Wealthsimple Crypto because that's one of the other services that they offer. You can buy Bitcoin or Ethereum through Wealthsimple. I do not recommend using Wealthsimple Trade to invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum because not only do they charge a 1.5 commission on transactions, they've also baked in a spread into the, the price that they're offering you to buy or sell at. So let's say the price of Bitcoin is $40,000 Canadian. Well, well, simple trade is going to sell it to you for somewhere around forty-two thousand, and buy it from you for somewhere around thirty-eight. Now, I'm kind of just making those numbers up, but the point is that they've created a, a buffer on either side of the actual current market price of Bitcoin or Ethereum, so that they make more money, and I guess they protect themselves in case there's big price swings in between when you place your order and when it actually goes through. But still, those are pretty killer spreads and you can find much better on other platforms. Next up is Quest Trade. Now this is the middle option here. I don't think it's the best at anything, but I also don't think it's the worst at anything. The commission fee on Quest Trade is $4.95 per trade, which is quite high compared to the $0 commissions that Wellsimple Trade offers, but it's pretty low compared to what some of the big banks offer, like TD Direct Invest, which I'll get into in just a few seconds. Quest Trade also doesn't have very good research and analytics tools, and as you can see here, the aesthetic of their website isn't that great. It's not incredibly intuitive, and it's not very easy to see how much you've profited or lost. It doesn't really have nice pie charts or graphs or anything like that. So it's pretty bare bones. Now the one major advantage that Questrade has over Wellsimple is that you can buy US dollars and trade in US dollars from within the platform without getting hit with exchange fees on each transaction. And that's especially good if you take advantage of something called Norbert's Gambit. Norbert's Gambit is a way you can exchange Canadian dollars for US dollars for free by buying shares of a Horizons US dollar currency ETF in Canadian dollars. And then once you have purchased that, you can call up Questrade and ask them to sell it in US dollars and bam, you've got your Canadian dollars into US dollars without paying any 
commission fees aside from the, the trading fees, but no foreign exchange fees. Questrade is what I currently use for all of my investing in US dollars, but I am hopeful that in the near future, either Wealthsimple or another trading platform is going to come out with a zero dollar commission fee along with a US dollar account because that would be really the holy grail here and that's what I think a lot of people are waiting for. Now finally, you have TD Direct Invest. Now this is by far the most expensive of the three options. They charge $9.99 per trade buying and selling. And when you compare that to $4.95 or $0, it really adds up. And the only reason why I'm on this platform is because when I started out investing maybe four or five years ago, I didn't know any better, so I just signed up for it. And at the time, I also didn't really think through how important keeping those commission fees low would be. Let's say you're looking to invest $100 in stocks. If you're paying basically a $10 commission fee upon buying and selling, you're going to have to see the price of whatever you're investing in increase by 20% just to break even, which is crazy. So if you're looking to invest on a platform like TD Direct Invest, you really need to be looking at larger you know, economy of scale type investing. If you're investing $1,000, that's 1%, $10,000, 0.1%. So it's not so bad if you're investing large amounts, but if you're a small retail investor just looking to invest a few dollars here and there when you have it, it's not really a great option. That said, there are some huge advantages with TD Direct Invest, and the main one is that it has by far the best research tools out of all three platforms. You can see as I'm scrolling through here, there's just endless amounts of analytics, reports, news and everything you could possibly need to make an educated decision on which investments to make next. You can search by a number of different criteria and it really makes it simple to see, you know, A, how much you have invested, B, how much you've made or lost, and then of course those, those research and analytics tools are just great, especially if you don't know what you wanna be investing in next. Anyways, I probably wouldn't reopen a TD Direct Invest account now if I was just starting out, you know, just because of the research and analytics tools. They're great, but you can find similar things on other websites for free. So in my opinion, it's not really worth the $10 per transaction commission fee. The only reason why I keep it now is because I'm not really, you know, making any transactions with that account, but just by holding it, I still have access to those research and analytical tools. So I don't really see the benefit in closing the account. In conclusion, I think you know there's pros and cons to each of these different types of investing or trading platforms. But in my opinion and from my personal perspective, Wealthsimple is really where it's at. I love the $0 commission fees and when I combine that with other research and analytics tools that I get from other places for free. It's really just the best. The only issue right now is the foreign exchange and I'm hopeful that in the near future that issue will be resolved. And if it does, Wealthsimple will probably be my number one platform where I do all my transactions. Anyways, that's all I have to say about those three investing or trading platforms. I know there's lots of other ones out there, but these three represent what I think are the three main tiers in the types of platforms that are available here in Canada for Canadians to use. Although, if you think I missed anything, please let me know. I'm always looking out for you know new ways to save money on commission fees and better strategies for investing my money. Anyways, have a great day and we'll see you later.